hey what's up it's kb here so i got this comment in one of my video asking why is no one talking about the windows 11 se well my brother there are lots of reason why one of the main reason why no one is talking about the windows 11 se is that it is the only windows 11 edition that you cannot download yes you cannot download windows 11 se but i have it installed in virtual machine somehow it is the Windows 11 SE build something something. We will talk about this as we go through this video. But first, let's talk about what is Windows 11 SE. If you go to the official Windows 11 SE overview at Microsoft website, Windows 11 SE is an edition of Windows 11 that's designed for education. Windows SE runs on web first devices that use essential education apps and it comes with microsoft store and blah 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 still didn't get it don't worry if you scroll down to the site little bit for more info application types you can see this operating system supports progressive web apps uh, enabled web apps enabled but you cannot install win32 apps such as the exe files msi files the traditional windows desktop apps you cannot install them you can't even install a universal windows apps from microsoft store both of these features are disabled so uh, let me try to give you guys better understanding what the windows 11 se is and what microsoft is trying to do with it first of all to get a windows 11 se you'll need to buy a windows 11 se compatible device which comes with it you can't install it you can't even reinstall it no nothing like that second with this windows 11 se microsoft is trying to compete with google's chrome os this is still a full-blown windows 11 with all the features all the apps whatnot that you get from normal windows 11 but all of those features are disabled not removed just disabled i'm pretty sure that you know about the chrome os chrome os is like web browser based operating system and it works flawlessly and it is super lightweight because obviously it's a web browser based operating system you can also install android apps in it linux apps in it that are optional if you want you can do it but if you don't want you don't have to but with the windows 11 se it's like totally opposite. Microsoft should have made like some kind of a maybe Microsoft Edge OS or something which would work like a Chrome OS. You know, it's still Windows 11, normal Windows 11. Uh, the only difference here is that you are limited. Yeah, that's all. You're limited. And I'm pretty sure that to run this operating system, you'll need a better specs than compared to the chrome os since this os is designed to work like a, a chrome os i think chrome os is still better choice um sorry microsoft <laughs> because as i said i i don't want to say this again and again this is still a full-blown uh, windows 11 operating system and yeah i i'm pretty sure i don't have to repeat this again and again the only feature we have we are allowed to use is the microsoft edge just like chrome os you your main thing on chrome os is the chrome web browser yeah that's the thing that you use and that is the only thing that chrome os has but uh, it's a different case with windows 11 you have everything but you can't use them yeah <laughs> hope you got the point here right now let, let's just talk about the uh, windows 11 se itself uh, i somehow got this to work on my virtual machine uh, and uh, as i said again you can't just download windows 11 se and install it you have to buy a device which comes with the windows 11 se that's how you can get the windows 11 se but don't worry at the end of this video i'll show you some tips and tricks or show you something that you can use to get the windows 11 se if you're eager to try out windows 11 se even though i have it installed it actually doesn't work exactly like windows 11 se there are some problems because obviously it's not a official windows 11 se or at least we can say this is not the way to get the windows 11 se officially 
So if you try to open Microsoft Store, which shouldn't be available in Windows 11 SC, should be disabled, you can't use it. Microsoft Store is blocked because in Windows 11 SE, you can't download applications. You can use System Settings app to do the settings and stuff. But if you try to open Control Panel, which is still available in this edition of Windows 11, but you can't use it. Yeah, they are just blocked. If you try to install any third party app, uh, I mean the traditional Windows desktop applications, you won't be able to install them. But uh, since this is not an actual Windows 11 SC or official Windows 11 SC, I am able to actually install this. Uh, but uh, in Windows 11 SE, you can't install any app or no nothing like that. It is very, very limited. Take a look at the uh, Windows File Explorer. Where is my C drive? I can't see my drive where the Windows is installed itself, the C drive. You can't see it. It doesn't matter what you do here. You can't see it. It's it's just completely gone or maybe hidden, blocked. You, you don't have access to it. As we all know, Windows is the most popular and most used operating system. So maybe Microsoft's this thing will work out, but I still feel like this isn't the right way to do it. They should make a separate operating system, the lightweight operating system. Since we have no use of the other features that we can't access. There is no point of having this heavy operating system in our system. Maybe they should just make a, you know, uh, Edge OS or something like that, just like Chrome OS. Actually, let's take a look at the task manager, what we're doing here, all right? So you can see, <laughs> so you can see there are so many things still running in the background just like normal windows 11 uh, and uh, yeah I, I don't know what to say I, i'm pretty sure that you guys are very intelligent and uh, you know what i'm trying to say here is that windows 11 se if you compare it with chrome os chrome os is better because it's lightweight it is like the true web browser based operating system where the Windows 11 SE is trying to do the same thing, but with full blown operating system by locking you out from the other features access, which are still present in operating system, which makes this operating system heavy, just like the normal Windows 11. And uh, yeah, it's like full of bloat or whatever you wanna say. Uh, I don't know how do I put it together, but that's that. This is the windows 11 se still a full windows 11 full blown like normal windows 11 but limited access okay that's it i'm not gonna talk too much hope you enjoyed it uh, actually before i leave you guys in peace uh if you just in case if you want to try windows 11 se by yourself by not buying a windows 11 se laptop or computer whatever you want to buy there is this uh, Reddit page uh, on how to build your own Windows 11 SE ISO file. If you follow this, you'll be able to get the Windows 11 SE uh, uh, ISO file. Uh, it, again, this is not a official method to get it, or there is actually no way to get the Windows 11 SE uh, ISO file. So this is just a little hack, uh, which turns normal Windows 11 into uh, Windows 11 SE and why this hack works because as I said Windows 11 SE is still a full-blown Windows 11 with limited access and that's all that's all the difference there is it's not a light operating system maybe some of you guys may think that wow it's a Windows 11 SE web browser based operating system no it's not it's not what you think it's not like a Chrome OS so yeah <laughs> That's it. If you want to try this out, I will put a link in the description for the Reddit page. You can go there and if you want to, you can try this out. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comments too. And uh, yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye.